let's head back. Zoom. Hello. Where are we? Start of the Nexus. Okay. Can't pull my... Oh, no, I can pull my sparrow out here. Never mind. Must be slightly different to where I thought I was. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a pretty cool little boss encounter. I think there's like four of the like lieutenant things. I think it was Emma misses top top dudes. So imagine we'll have a boss fight for each of them, plus obviously Emma miss herself. I'm guessing villains don't usually last longer than one expansion in Destiny. That's one complaint that I have had and continue to have is that. When, when a villain is the focus of an expansion, they always die at the end of the expansion. Like, the only long-term villain that we've had around, aside from, like, the nebulous, the darkness, the only long-term villain we've really had around is, like, Callus after the raid, but then Callus has kind of joined our side. Even, even in some cases, like, Aldrin, obviously, we killed Aldrin at the end of Forsaken, and then... They brought him back, and he's going to be the focus of this new season. Uh, season of the Hunt. They resurrected him as a guardian. But it's like, we still killed him. And obviously, the resurrection as a guardian thing probably isn't something they're going to pull twice. So, to other evil characters. Not that he was really evil. He was being tricked, mind-fucked. All that... Okay, what have we got over here? Oh, we're back here. There's the monolith thingy. Right, yes, hello. Have you got anything new to chat about? Drifter has. Once word gets out about stasis, the vanguard will be bleeding schmucks. Can't show a light bearer a new toy and then tell him not to play with it. No, that'd be me. You underestimate Zavala and Vikora. When they can see what we've seen, they will do what's right. Will they? Maybe, Moon Dust. Maybe. As we speak, the once ship steamer brings the promise of our people to pass. Soon, we will rise to true prominence, united under one banner. Okay. <laughs> Understand, Guardian. This power we wield is not a gift from a benevolent overseer. It is a tool stolen from an enemy. One that is all too tempting to abuse. Indeed. I know this well. Before the stranger came to offer her guidance, I despaired of my entanglement with the darkness. I shudder to think how easily I could have slipped down the path to destruction. How anyone could. A balanced mind is the best defense, Guardian. Do not let fear or anger tip the scales. I do not blame my people for their scavenging. Exodus forced us to become practical in some that has become Hmm. Right, sup. Aramis's presence on Europa is not happenstance. Temptation set the wheels in motion, but obsession propelled her here. To destroy the light with an army of darkness. She and her followers make those selfish choices moment to moment. The darkness places a spotlight on our desires as it once did me and those I cared about. For a time, I had forgotten. Humanity relies on our selfless acts to bring about a better world. 
darkness is no more than a tool with which we do so. Indeed. With splinters of darkness still in hand, Aramis remains an immediate danger to humanity. Look within. Focus your power. Let it grow. The ziggurat awaits. Back over to that monolith thing. The Exo Stranger is thrilled. Not only did you accept the power of stasis, you put it to use by taking down Phylax and retrieving her splinter of darkness. Continue working with Varax to track down the next member of Eremus's Dark Council. Once you get a hold of their splinter, the Exo Stranger can use it to enhance your own, which will in turn strengthen your proficiency with stasis. But don't get carried away. You have a way to go before you can face Eremus. Now that you've accepted stasis, you must learn to resist the temptations of the darkness and use it solely for the good of humanity. With that, she hands you back your splinter, now infused with phylaxes, readying you for the next stage of stasis. Attune your enhanced splinter of darkness at the ziggurat in beyond. Aight. Do you have anything new to say after I've talked to her? Nope. Okie dokie! Nailed it. <laughs> I was trying to go off the jump. Computer said no. Guardian, this feels wrong. You wielding darkness. But I'm not going anywhere. If you need me, I'm here. A tune! Commune with the next crux of darkness in Bray Exoscience. This, power, this stasis. I'm worried it's taking more of a toll on you than you realize. I'm able to bring you back from death with the light. But I may not be able to if this power consumes you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bray Exoscience. Was that the other place that I was interested in checking out? The Clovis Bray facility? I wonder if we'll get any kind of a glimpse of the Deepstone Crypt in uh, in the campaign, or whether that's entirely just for the raid. I cannot wait to watch that, man. I love the World First Race. So much fun to watch. Still rooting for Datto to get a World First. Still heartbroken for him over the last Wish fiasco. <laughs> I mean, it was a hilarious fucking thing to watch. Like, and that meme will live forever, 2402. If you know what that is about, you are also deeply saddened and also laughing a little bit at it. <laughs> but man, it must, must have felt bad. I'll explain it for those who don't know. I was, I was tempted to leave it for, for just something that if you know, you know kind of thing. But basically... There is a secret emblem uh, that you can only get in the first 24 hours of a raid launching. Uh, which is for being one of the first. You know, to do it in the first day, you've got to have figured out the mechanics. And obviously, it's it's far above your level. So, you've got to execute everything perfectly and not die and everything. So, it's, it's a hard task to beat a raid in the first 24 hours. And Last Wish was the hardest of all of them. Mainly... I mean, there were a few I'm sections that got people stuck. I admit me, sisters and brothers, out amongst the stars, and here at home on Europa. We have suffered a great loss today. Our beloved warrior, Phylax, was murdered by pawns of the once great machine. As always, they eagerly seek to eradicate us. Remember... Light only burns bright so long, but darkness is forever. Sure. Yeah, um, so this, the main, the main holdup was the vault section, which took, like, eight to ten or something hours to figure out how they had to figure out what code to put into this, open this vault, whilst also, oh, it wasn't just a code, it was an encounter as well, um, I mean, you probably know this if you're into Destiny at all, because you'll know what the Last Wish Raid is all about. And, uh, yeah, to cut a long story short, Datto's team finally beat this raid after streaming it for 24 hours non-stop. You had to beat it in 24 hours to get the emblem, and they beat it in 24 hours and 2 minutes. So they did not get the emblem after all that effort and work and pain and struggle. They were 2 minutes late. 
feels bad. But it was crazy watching it at the time. Like one of the best that 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 day is one of the best days in the Destiny community for sure. I adored it and I adore all the all the raid races, but that was that was my favourite. Yes, we are down in the Bray Exoscience bit, yes, that I was looking at before. So very cool, very cool. Excited to see Ooh. What is through here? Oh man, this looks very like clean Bray Exoscience. Obviously, looks like Clovis Bray will be the final boss of uh, the raid. Massive dickhead that he is. Commune! Is this going to be another lots of... Oh yeah, it totally is. Stasis empowered. Hello, fuckos. Are we doing this again? Oh, wait a sec. Can I change my class? Can I be a different class and have... Or is it... No, it is... Okay, no, I... I just thought this seems kind of similar to the striker one, you know? So I wasn't sure. I like these bits, man. If we've got two more of those ziggurat things to get, then it's probably we're probably going to be doing this another two times as well. It's just fun. It is just fun. No explosion for you, bitch! Oh. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. A little bit of an explosion for you. A small amount of splode. The darkness beckons. And I'm here for it. Wait, why is my thing not... Okay, now my thing's charging up. It wasn't charging up for a second. I was like, wait a minute. Do they explode when you when you blast through them, even when they're frozen? I think that might be what happens. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I understand now. Okay. I think you got to just pound twice to break them. See a red dot over here. It's like through this wall. <laughs> we can actually head deeper in, which, as always, is so fucking tempting. But I really shouldn't. 
because again we'll probably be coming this way later just like with uh, the previous previous place I was like we'll probably come here later it's actually in fact if it follows the same thing as the other then the boss is probably down there because that's how the other one works we did this at the start bit and then the boss was further in end the communion regroup with Varix I'm here to fight for the light and so are you if this is how we're going to do it, I'll be by your side. But we are toying with power neither of us understand, and I have no control over it. If anything happens to you, I may not be able to help, but I'll do what I can. One 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 five to one one two six. Goodbye, shotgun. Hello, scout. Let's get rid of you now. Keep you. In case we were ever in need. 1116 to 1126. Goodbye, caller helmet. Didn't get anything else, did we? No, okay. Uh, I guess we could just teleport back, right? Because we're... Oh, I didn't even realize there was a landing zone down here. Ah, well, that makes sense. We are all the way over here, man. Look how we, <laughs> we've we gone this far into Bray Exoscience. There's creation, which stretches out a long way down here. And then there's eternity, which is through here where we just went, like, just above where my arrow is. We went through there. We stopped there. But then there's all of this into a huge section here. And then eternity... <laughs> Oh, it sounds so cool. Very exciting. Very fucking exciting. Do, do. What have you? I have seen what power has done to Aramis, but perhaps you are different. Oh yeah, perhaps totally different. There me. is hope. Praxis. He is the visionary mind behind Aramis's technology. He brings power from the darkness itself. Oh yeah. Should we go hunt but this Beric's bitch down? But was not privy to his secrets, his experiments. You must discover how he creates these dark weapons and stop him. I really like his insect-like chattering. I don't think he used to do that, but I, I, I really like it. Varix is surprised and impressed that you managed to defeat Phylax. He now believes you may be capable of wielding stasis without being corrupted. He tells you that your next target is Praxis, the Elixni who created the technology that allows House Salvation to wield darkness. Defeat him, and Erebus's plans will come to a halt. Varix believes he's been experimenting on the Vex, and if you disrupt his experiments, you might get his attention. Investigate Praxis, the Technocrat's plans in Asterion Abyss. And we get a sniper rifle, 1150, Long Shadow. like I recognize that name. Not sure. Uh, what is this now? Europa Arms Quest. Look for stasis sealed chests in Bray Exoscience and Eternity. I don't know if we'll even be going back there, but sure. Uh, by the way, do you still have to... Uh, where would it be? Would it be... No, it wouldn't be an inventory... There it is. <laughs> yeah, you do still have to turn in bounties yourself. So, boop, 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 boop. Almost got energy weapons done. Power weapons getting there. That one's probably never ha happening. But we can pick up some more now, maybe. Fallen with arc damage. Damn it, I should have done... I should have handed this in yesterday because I can't re-pick it up because I just turned it in now. Uh, using a bow, that's probably never happening. 
But who knows, maybe your bow will drop, so I'll get it anyway. And then just fill up on the rest. Finishers, grenade launchers. Yeah, okay. Season rank up. Lovely jubbly. I suppose I should um take a look at the old uh Looks season like pass, right? My companions. They say you shake the ground. Oh you walk. come close. You get an exotic. Listen. Should I pull the exotic out now? If I pull it out now, it'll probably it will come out at my level, I imagine. But I could just wait until I'm until I'm at the soft cap to pull out the exotic. It also says large XP boost, though. What do you know? Unless it's the uh, nine. I'm I'm low key. Feeling like I should wait until, uh... Oh, you know what? Whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. See, large XP boost seasonal bonus. Okay. I probably should have just got that from the start then. I've been wasting it. Upgrade modules. Recon data. Bring this to Crow to increase your reputation with him. Okay. Well, Crow's not in the game yet, but, uh, he will be... Uh, glimmer that I you frighten my companion. Oh, I can collect it because I just bought they all those bounties. You shake the ground when you walk. Perhaps I huh. can I just claimed that, but right it didn't tick direction. and go dark, but I can't claim it again. That's weird. It's bugged out. Oh, same with that. Hmm. That is a garbage roll. But sure. <laughs> Wild hunt gauntlets, eh? Wild Hunt Helm, 1124. That's not even as good. What's it look like? Hmm. Well, I'll lock it. And not use it. Because <laughs> it's not as good. Uh, 1124, 1127. Sure. Do I care about keeping them? Not really. One one two one 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 two four. Be vigilant. One one two two one one two four. One one two one 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 two four. Okay. That's the full outfit. That look. That helmet does look good with the rest of that outfit, but I'm not gonna wear it because it's not a. <laughs> it's not the best shit. Okay, 1126, 1124. God damn it. Okay, I guess it comes out under leveled anyway. Uh, what is it? Duality. Hip fire pellets it aim to fire slugs. Oh, right. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Not true. Huh. Okay, so it switches from pellets to slugs. All right. Pellet final blows grant a stacking precision damage and reload speed buff. Precision hits with slugs extend the duration. Oh, that sounds interesting. 1106 to 1150. That's quite a jump, but it's a special weapon. But then I guess I've got a primary in my secondary slot, so you know what? That's fine right now. Do you know Tyra Karn, Guardian? She is kind and clever. Get rid of all those. 1150. Shall I shall I put this on? Oh wait, it's it's special. Uh, no, then let's not. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I'm curious about it though. I am curious about it. Right, what do we need to do? Collect tracking devices by defeating Vex in the abyss. Minotaurs always drop the devices. Okay. Meow. 
Should we join up? Looks like there's a couple of people here. Level Someone on level 22 on the battle pass. You've been doing the most. Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ow. Did not expect to go flying. That was, as they say, unexpected. Okay, well, I can't defeat these guys because they've got darkness shields, which you have to have a darkness thing to take off. And I do not have a darkness thing, so... <laughs> what you would like me to do about it. Oh. Wait, what the fuck is this? Is this an auto rifle? Or is this just a really fast firing scout? I think it's a really fast firing scout. Right? Or is it that stand capturing one of these zones takes down their shields, maybe? Maybe that's it. Oh, good. I'm over here now. I do need art kills, right? So I guess this is good for that. Rude. Pretty sure I had a bounty that was art kills. I think. Yeah, okay, that's definitely how this works. I also just now realized I swapped my subclass and didn't swap back. <laughs> Which I should have done, because I definitely prefer the striker one. Right, what have we got going on now? I should lock all of these pieces as well, just so I don't accidentally dismantle them. Considering it's the seasonal thing. Uh, 1124, 1135, very nice. 1127, 1138, even nicer. Uh, no, that was new. Uh, 1126, 1133. I remember, I used to love this sidearm. I remember really loving this sidearm back in the day. Very cool. Did I really not pick up any special ammo from that? Really? Really? Tell me more. So, we're just killing Vex around here, right? Is it? Yeah, it's just around here. Okay. Oh, Vex, where are you? Down there, apparently. Thanks for the loot. New power weapon, 1118 to 1138. Goodbye, sword. Uh, Vex, I'm gonna need you to show yourselves, you know? You're supposed to be around here somewhere. There we go, there's some. Hello, friends. Ooh. It's like Minotaurs are guaranteed, but then it seems like Goblins are fairly guaranteed as well. Oh, I didn't get any of them. I really, really like this sidearm, man. I, I think, was it this sidearm that used to absolutely rip in Crucible? Might be. I've heard Crucible is an absolute fucking nightmare now that Stasis is in, by the way. Haven't played any. But uh, I've seen a lot of takes that from, like, you know, the big Destiny people, like, Cathalion and that lot. 
that uh, it's pretty garbage to play at the moment because if you get frozen, which happens pretty easily, apparently there's some uh, stasis grenade which like tracks you as well, like tracks you around corners and shit. So it's really easy to get frozen. And if you do get frozen, it's like you've been one shot killed essentially because you're not going to be getting out of it. Like it takes, it takes a couple of seconds to break out of it and you've taken the damage by then, you're gonna die, like... Yeah, it seems it seems like once you're frozen, you're essentially dead. And because freezing is an instant thing, yeah, it's just, uh... <laughs> people are not happy, so I'm curious how Bungie's gonna respond to that, because, you know, it's in the game now, you can't, you can't take it back, so it's a subclass that freezes people. But if people really hate it, I don't know. Also, I don't think Bungie really give a fuck about PvP that much, to be honest. So whether they'll even do anything, because like... They haven't even added any new maps to PvP in this uh, in this expansion. Which obviously, as someone who doesn't really play PvP, I don't care about personally. But uh, I know a lot of people are pretty upset about that, and that's fair enough. If you are a PvP person, and they've essentially gone, get fucked, you know, that's like, okay, well, cool. In the Cadmus Ridge, locate and shut down the Vex Conflux created by Praxis. 1126, 1139. Vex Conflux, is that saying do a do a public event over there? I'm not sure if that's what that's saying. Let's find out, I guess. There's really no easy way... Oh, you know what? Sure there is. <gasps> Hello. I will change subclass after I use the super, but I may as well not waste the super. I wonder how many secrets and stuff are hidden on Europa. Bungie did say that there was going to be a lot of stuff that you'd be discovering as you played, like just it's hidden out in the world and shit. Axis built it himself. It's a little hack. Cover me and I'll see what I can find out. Oh, this is we saw people doing this actually. It's not a public event. Well that's good. Hello. It is this thing, right? I'm not at the wrong place. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm at the right place. I don't need to like put him into it or anything. He just said, guard me, right? Like, I'm not, I don't, I just feel like I'm supposed to be doing something other than just killing these guys, but I don't know. It's not really giving much in the way of direction here. Oracle is exposed. The fuck does that mean? Oh, hello, these thingies. Oh. It means shoot your boy.
Mechs are drawn to the complex. Okay, okay, I see what we're doing. We're doing three waves. Three waves of these. Okie doke. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on down. Come and join the party. Come and join the party. Leave anxieties behind. When the weight of all the world just keeps you down. Push my back. Something like that. What are the lyrics to that song? I don't remember. It's been a while. Ooh, hello, Sniper McSniperson. Oh, he came down. You're well. Muchas gracias. Cheeky little blue. Don't mind if I do. Aw, oh, replacement for this sidearm already? I was kind of hoping I wouldn't get one for a while because I really like it. Hello. night. Okay. Wave three. got this dude. I'm gonna just wait over here, you know? I'm sure you've got this in the back. How dare you get past his line of defense. Bye. Baby, a triple and more. Oh, hello. How much health do you have? Not that much. The Oracle is exposed. Nice. Oh, hi. Oh, he's immune. On Flux Watch Prime. Uh oh. Looks like Prax has found out we're trying to shut down his contacts. He sent a servant to protect him. Ow, ow, ow. Leaving. Leaving. Exit. I'm so slow. So slow. Am I being teleported to get? I am. <laughs> Want to teleport someone else, prick? Hey. That's a lot of these guys. Good night. Hey, legendary. We did it! Got a signal off of that down server. I know where we can find Praxis. Okay. 
Complete the Technocrat Empire Hunt. Oh, right, so it's next boss already. Okay, that's probably what a lot of the content will be then. Do a couple of things, unlock the next boss. Do a couple of things, unlock the next boss is the is the vibe I'm getting. Cool, cool. Well, that was quite fun. Um, that is all we've got time for today, though. So, we are unfortunately going to have to leave the Technocrat for next time. Recommended 1120. What are we at? 1135. So we should be fine. So that is very, very good. Alrighty. Happy days. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Thanks for watching. See you then.